Hello YouTube, welcome back. We are talking about the best tip. My number one, um, clickbait aside, this is actually something I really believe in. So I want to share with everyone because I think it's worth trying. Might not work for you, but this is what I do when I'm really, really trying to improve at a game. I've been doing it for Street Fighter recently. I started playing Street Fighter again after years of taking a break, so I'm pretty bad, but I would like to get better. So let's talk about the tip. Now, I need to open this Reddit thread because I saw this on Reddit Crazy Hand. I originally saw this tip. Let me take off the lights. Pretty bright in here. I saw this tip on Reddit Summoner School, which is like the improvement subreddit for League of Legends. And I just saw this one on Reddit Crazy Hand a few days ago. And they're very similar. So the TLDR here is to have an internal monologue in which you really talk to yourself. So the tip here, I'm going to just like say right to the point, but I hope you stick around for the explanation as to why I think this is big, because if you don't know why and you're not doing it like properly, it's kind of pointless. So you have an internal monologue for this thread, thread at least. In my opinion, you speak to yourself out loud when you're playing the game online. Like let's say you're just playing Elite Smash, you're just playing uh, CPN or whatever, CFN. You're playing League of Legends Ladder and you're just playing the game and you're not seeing improvement, you start talking to yourself about everything you notice in the game out loud, in my opinion. This person says internal dialogue. Maybe that's better for some people. In my opinion, you do it out loud. So here's an example. Whenever your opponent reacts, <clears throat> sorry, whenever your opponent reacts or punishes or does anything, say to yourself something like, okay, I went in with an air, he rolled in and then grabbed me from behind. That's how he reacts to that. I should spot dodge that grab next time. Say the actual words in your head. In my opinion, say the actual words out loud. Why does this matter? Because it gets you super focused on exactly what's happening. When you're when you're good enough at a game to a point where you're just competent to win and you've been playing for like hundreds and hundreds of hours, you really do get on an autopilot where you can just kind of do things that you know you're good at, your opponent does some things, whatever, and you kind of like space out almost. It becomes, half the game becomes an autopilot, but you're not actually so good that your autopilot will just win you games against better players. Do you know what I mean? So there's so many things you're letting people get away with. There's so many things, there's habits that you're doing that you might not even notice. And when you're hyper-focused on everything in the game by trying to announce it, you, you learn more for sure. You learn more about what's happening in the game, things you're letting people get away with, things you're doing yourself. My, my other tip is to pretend that whoever the best player in the game is is standing right beside you and they're gonna coach you, but they wanna hear your thoughts on the game. You get what I'm saying? This is a tip that I saw in Reddit uh, Summoner School years ago. And it's what I was doing in League when I tried to get better. You pretend that, let's say in League, Faker's the best player. Faker's standing right beside you and you're playing the game. Why I think that's a big thing is one, you're gonna try to sound smarter to him. You know what I mean? You know when like you wanna impress your teacher, you know their their teacher's a cool guy, you wanna impress him. So you try to talk up. So you're playing League and you're saying all these things that you probably don't even realize in game when you're playing like just for fun. But there are things that are going on and you just never even pay attention to them, right? So um, let's say, like, let's say Dai goes beside you're playing uh, Street Fighter. The other thing is you won't be too salty, hopefully, right? Imagine MK Leo's beside you, Dai goes beside you, Faker's beside you, and you say stuff like, "Oh, it's lagging. This game sucks. Why is he allowed to just roll?" Right? They're gonna laugh at you. You're gonna think you're fucking stupid. Right? Like, they they would never complain at that thing because they would just punish it, right? You're playing Smash and Incineroar does three roars into three rolls into command grab. You, if you're just playing normally, you might be like, holy shit, this game is so stupid. Why are they at all these brain dead character and mechanics? Whatever. If you ever said that to MK Leo, he'd think you're an idiot. Because he would be like, punish all three of those roles. This character is so slow. Why are you even that close to him? Like, you start to realize that instead of being salty about things, they're just answers to avoid them. You could have said to yourself, this guy rolls, I should punish the roll. Or he's so close to me, but he has such a slow character. Why did I let him get in? You start to say these things out loud and you realize that there's so much answers to your own gameplay that you can find out by yourself. Here's an example of me doing this in Street Fighter. So what happens here? So we're in this range here where he missed his medium punch and uh, he dashes in on me. And I say to myself, this guy likes to dash in. He dashes in, he dashes in a lot. I probably should have been more specific even. I should have said, um, when we're at a range where his medium punch misses, he dashes in a lot. Anyway, this is the same game 20 seconds later. All right, so I blocked the medium punch. We're now gonna be at a range where he can no longer medium punch me. He probably will dash in again. And he does. 
Caught the dash, let's go. And I said it to myself, you know, get that positive reinforcement. Pretend Daigo's right there. I'm like, I caught that dash, Daigo. You proud of me? Let's go, right? You need the positive reinforcement because now you realize this is a habit or this is something that you I never used to punish. I've never used to punish people dashing in. Maybe I did when I first played Street Fighter, but now that I got back into it, I, I noticed so many people get away with so much stuff and it's hard for me to keep up with what I'm missing. Is he gonna DP? No DP. And I'm saying, is he gonna DP? He's not, he didn't DP. I'm actively thinking of the situation. If I was just playing this with my brain off, I would just do the same things over and over. What about now? Okay, so here's something. Neutral jumping in the corner. This is something I literally did not realize people do <laughs> that I let them get away with until this monologue. People, I actually went back and watched some of my older matches and I play characters that are aggressive like Kami and Ibuki. So I get people in the corner a lot and, I, and my corner pressure is not like the best. And I think one reason is because I let people neutral jump and I never noticed until this match. Jump. Ooh, neutral jump. Okay, I have to neutral jump in the corner. Right, so what happened? I said, is he going to jump? But he neutral jumps and my brain was just autopiloting to him actually jumping at me so i dp'd anyway and i get super hard punished obviously that sucks but i realized he neutral jumps in the corner i said it out loud i realized what happened and that's good why is that good because this is the exact same match he's in the corner again and what did he do last time well, maybe if your brain was off, you won't even remember. But because I said it out loud, it's stuck in there. When you say things out loud, I swear they're just ingrained in your brain. You two jump in the corner? I, uh, you did it last time, brother. You did do it last time, brother. Say, so I said, is he going to neutral jump in the corner? He does it. Boom. Instantly punish it this time. I'm ready. I said it last time. Here's one more example. A few seconds later. Neutral jump in the corner. I spoke it into existence. Neutral jump in the corner? Neutral jump in the corner? Boom, punish it. So just from this one game of Street Fighter where I was talking to myself out loud, I, I'm, I literally feel like it's like a level up in a video game where the stat just goes up. My brain is now just more accustomed to like noticing when people dash at me and noticing people who jump in the corner. And those are two things that I can now punish way better because I'm, I'm more aware that they exist. I'm more aware that it's an option people like to do. And it's just now it's it's just easier. I leveled up from this one game. But here's the thing. I lost that game and I'm, you know, not to sound cocky. I'm guaranteed you I could have beat that person if I was just playing the way I always play. But when you're talking to yourself about every little thing, you start to like the things that you're super good at that you can kind of do it just autopiloting. You're not going to do them as well because you're super focused on everything else. So you will lose more games than you win. But like that's you got you have to think of it as a good thing because in the long run, you're going to win way more games. If I just autopiloted and I did what I always do, I maybe would have beaten that guy with just like raw footsies and whatnot. But then down the line, when I play someone who's better, who also neutral jumps in the corner or dashes at me a lot, now I could beat that person by using my raw fundamentals plus these new skills I gained. Do you know what I mean? So this is why I think it's such a big deal. This is something I did in League of Legends a lot, a lot. There's when I play jungle in League and I'm not gonna like, I know a lot of people don't play League that watch my videos, so I don't go too much into it. But there's so many different things that I was just not doing. I realized that when I was talking to myself, I wasted so much of my time. I was like, if Faker saw me just clearing these jungle camps, without looking around the map everywhere, he would laugh at me. So I started looking around the map more often and it improved my game a lot. There's a video of Mars we talked about last video. And he does this a lot when he's streaming, a lot. Oh, <laughs> met him right at the apex. He always says like, I caught his jump right here. I'm so sick of roll get up. I'm sick of roll get up here. He's kind of complaining about it, but he's obviously mentioning what the enemy player is doing, right? He, when you watch Mars' stream ever, he does this a lot. He like verbally says, Things that the other person will do he'll hit their shield and be like this guy's shield grabs a lot wow and then he starts punishing it so yeah that's pretty much it why did i bring that up that was kind of stupid um yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys try this out because i really do think it's good if you don't want to speak out loud maybe people at your house try the internal monologue it doesn't work for me because i still find myself autopiloting if i'm only thinking i don't have the i don't know mental fortitude to just have an internal dialogue with myself but when i'm saying things out loud and i get in that habit i realize that there's so many things that i can pick out myself that i've been doing wrong that i never noticed because i was too just like playing the game the way i always played it right when you start talking to yourself you focus so much more about what the enemy person's doing because you need to find something to talk about eh? you know keep keep Daigo and mk leo entertained have something to talk about oh this guy does this a lot this guy does this I, I didn't punish it i didn't even punish it even if you don't have an answer just tell them that you realize hey daigo i realized i didn't punish that and as a teacher he'll be like good realization you know what i mean <laughs> have you ever had like a teacher where you want to you want to look good to them so you want to find out the answers yourself and just look cool you, you try harder and you know what i mean 
Anyway, uh, I hope someone out there tries this tip and gets way better at game. That'd be pretty cool. Because this is something I will 100% do in Riot's fighting game. If you follow my Twitter, you know I'm going to try playing that game when it comes out. And it works for me 100% of the time. It's worked for many other people. I saw it on different Reddit threads. I saw it on League, Smash. I've actually seen it on Street Fighters as well. So yeah, try it out for yourself. Let me know if you like the video. Leave a like and sub. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, have a good evening. Stay beautiful.